Hello everyone. Welcome back with another important video lecture. In this lecture, I'm going to discuss on black flies or black flies infestation in man and animal. First, I will discuss the morphological features of black flies or simulates. Then I will highlight the different developmental stages, general life cycle of black flies, and pathogenic significance of black flies infestation in man and animal. Finally, I will talk about the control and prevention of black flies. Follow my other lectures related to medical and veterinary entomology, such as horse flies, CC flies, nasal bird flies, and stomach bird flies. Please put your comments or suggestion in the comment section below. Your feedback will be highly appreciated. If you want to get more video lectures on parasitic diseases of man and animal, please subscribe the channel. So, without further ado, let's move to our lecture. This is the classification of diphtheran flies. You know, we study different medical or veterinary important orthopods under the suborder Nematocera, Brachycera, and Cyclohepa. Here, you can see the different important families under these suborders. Flies under the Simulidae family, commonly known as black fly or buffalo nets. In this lecture, I'll discuss about black flies, so stay tuned. Morphological features of black flies or simulates under the family Simulidae. Generally, black flies are small, 1 to 0 0.5 mm in length and dark or black in color. They have relatively stout body weight humpback thorax or anchor thorax, which is a characteristic features of simulates. In this slide, I'll talk about the features of eyes, antenna, pal, and the wings of adult black flies. Eyes of female are well separated, and you know, in this, this type of eyes is known as dichoptic eyes. Eyes of male flies are larger, broadly contagious, or close together, and this type of eyes is termed as holoptic eyes. So based on holoptic and dichoptic eyes, sexes of black flies can be differentiated. Antenna of simulates have more commonly 10 to 11 flagellomeres or segments. Antennal segments in both sexes are small, globular, and compacted together, giving beaded appearance, which is another important feature of black fly. Half of black flies have five segments. They are pendulous and longer than proboscis. Third segment of pulp carries a sensory pit for loose organ. This organ has many chemosensilla that detects odor such as carbon dioxide. The mouth part, particularly mandible and maxillary of male black flies and also a few species of female flies are feeble and untoothed. Therefore, they can't cut or penetrate the horse skin. Wings of black flies are colorless that is transparent around one around 1.5 to 6 millimeter in length. Each wing has a short, broad, with a large and a lobe. Radial, medial, and cubital veins are well developed. Radial sector are unbranched or have two branches depending on species. One of the important characteristics features of wings of black flies is the presence of forked submedian fold, which is located between medial vein 2 and cubital vein 1. Before discussing the life cycle of black flies, I will first discuss about the different developmental stages, which will help us to understand 
the life cycle of black flies. Three developmental stages that is adult, larva and pupa are there in the life cycle of a black fly. In the previous slide, I have already discussed about the features of black flies. In this slide, I will talk about larva and the pupa. Here you can see the different body parts of a larva, larval position in water and pupa in cocoons. A mature larva is 5 to 13 millimeter in length, light colored and have poorly segmented body. The larval stages has blackish head and it bears a prominent feeding brushes or cephalic fans. Body is swollen posteriorly and just below the head proleg is there. The circlet or posterior hook is required to remain attached to any objects such as rocks or vegetation when they remain and develop in water. So they anchored posteriorly where the head regions remains up or towards the water surface. It is noted that larvae also secrete copious amount of protein glue for their attachment with different objects in water. It is very interesting that they can remain submerged in water as deep as 3 cm. Larva feed on small particles from air-water interface. Some of the species are predaceous, consume small invertebrates. Some of the ecologists consider the larvae of black flies as ecosystem engineers because when the larval density in an aquatic place is very high, they provide significant nutrients to freshwater organisms by their fecal pillars. And these pillars might even fertilize the river margins or river banks. Pupa has cephalothorax with segmented abdomen. Abdomen bears spine and hooks to remain pupa in place within a cocoon. Pupa also has pupal gills which is similar to the respiratory trumpet or breathing tubes of mosquito. Life cycle of black flies. It is noted that male and female feed on nectar, but 90% female of different species require blood meal to develop their eggs. Some of the species are autogenous, that is, they can produce eggs without blood meal and instead depends on energy acquired during larval stages. Facultative autogeny is also seen in some species. The breeding site of the black flies are in running water, such as torrential mountain streams to slow-moving lowland rivers. The adult female lays several hundreds of eggs, ranges from 25 to 800 directly on the water surface during flight or as a sticky masses on partially submerged stones, vegetations in running or flowing water. Some species may oviposit in moist fissures in river banks. Remember that these eggs are highly sensitive to desiccation. Hatching of the eggs takes a few days in warm conditions but it may take longer time in temperate areas. There are 4 to 11 larval instars in the life cycle of black flies. The most commonest number is 11. Larva normally remain attached to submerged vegetation or any objects in water. They anchor posteriorly where the head regions remain up or towards the water surface. Pupae of black flies don't feed. The pupal period is around two to six days. Then adult flies emerge. Medical importance of black flies. You know black flies have the role as pest as well as vector for the transmission of different pathogens. Biting of black flies causes black fly fever 
due to reaction to various salivary components from flies. Human disease agents transmitted by black flies is that of onchocerciasis or river blindness caused by Onchocerca valvulus, which is a nematode. This parasite is transmitted to human by the repeated bites of black flies. Please note that Onchocerciasis is distributed mostly in tropics of Sub-Saharan Africa. It is also exists in two countries, namely Brazil, Venezuela of Latin America, and also in Yemen of Arabian Peninsula. In some countries, the disease has been eliminated or elimination program is going on. It is also noted that more than 90% of infected people live in 31 African countries and it is the second most common cause of human blindness after trachoma. Moreover, subcutaneous nodule formation, patches of depigmented skin as leopard skin, dry wrinkle skin similar to lizard skin and loss of elasticity of skin look like elephant knees are also seen in onchocerciasis. Another disease transmitted by black flies is mansonellosis. It is transmitted by at least five species of black flies in Brazil, Colombia, Guyana, Venezuela, and southern Panama, as well as in northwestern Argentina. Mansonellosis also found in Caribbean islands where culicoid species are considered to transmit the causal agent. The disease is now spreading to many other countries of the world. Mansinolosis has less or no pathogenic effect but may cause joint pain, headaches and pulmonary lesions. However, Black flies might have the potential role in transmitting different other diseases as mechanical vector. Some studies demonstrated that the causal agent of tularemia, eastern equine encephalitis, Venezuelan equine encephalitis virus have been isolated from several species of black flies, suggesting the potential role of these flies in transmission of such pathogens. Veterinary importance of black flies. You know, the black flies have the role as pest as well as vector in the transmission of different disease producing agents. As pest, they are associated with whiting and nuisance swarming. As vector, they transmit a wide number of pathogens such as filarial worms, protozoans, and possibly several viruses of different animals. Please follow this piece of information for causal agents of different diseases, their vectors, host, and geographical distribution. Deaths of livestock and birds are resulted due to attacks by the large number of black flies. Livestock under persistence attacks sometimes stampede, trampling young animals, crashing into structures, and so on. Large number of fly even may clog the respiratory pulses, impairing the respiration. As a result, animal may die due to suffocation. Death of the animals may also be attributed by the respiratory infection caused by the inhalation of flies. Animal may even die due to exsanguination as a result of sucking up huge amount of blood by the black flies. The most common cause of mortality is due to actual biting or more specifically due to toxemia and anaphylactic shock. This condition occurs due to host reaction to various salivary components that are injected during feeding on the host. This disease condition is known as simulotoxicosis. Next, move to the vector importance of black flies. As mentioned, they transmit filarial nematode, protozoa, and different viruses of animals. At least 11 species of filarial nematodes under the genus 
Onchocerca are transmitted by different species of black flies to the domesticated and wild birds. For more information, follow this table. Leukocytogenosis, a malaria-like disease caused by different species of leukocytogen, are transmitted to domestic and wild birds, especially domestic ducks, geese, and turkeys by different species of black flies. Black flies also transmit different trypanosoma species of birds. Filarial worms are also listed here. Different viruses such as Bania virus, Eastern Equine and Cephalitis virus, and Snowshoe hair virus have been detected in several black flies found in North America. Chlamydia infection in sheep and Rift Valley fever virus are also suspected of being black fly borne infection in South Africa. Control and prevention of black flies. Control and prevention of black flies mostly targeted to the larval stages because they are concentrated in easily identifiable and specific habitats. Different chemical insecticides have been using for more than a century. Nowadays, chlorinated hydrocarbon and organophosphates are using in managing the black flies. Entomopathogenic bacteria as BTI is using for controlling the black flies worldwide. Different symbiotic organisms and bacteria can also be used. Destruction of breeding habitats are occasionally effective in reducing pest populations. Repellents can also be used for human and animal population. So these are the reference material that I have used for the preparation of this presentation. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, don't forget to share and subscribe this channel. Thank you so much and good luck for your studies.